Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, technically you're not there, but you're looking at me, so that counts. I got another haul for the month of April with some grails, so let's do it. You know, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I do thank you for tuning in. Uh, most of the time I'd like to film the actual book and, and show you the stuff inside and the art and all that while I talk about it. That's usually the the modus operandi when it comes to a week in geek them. But for this one, I wanted to switch things around back to the uh, old school style, if you will. So today I got a couple books that I wanted to show you and sort of a, uh, I, I don't know, I guess uh, talk, muse a little bit about uh, the stuff that's been happening on a more personal level, which I rarely do on this channel. Uh, so, where the hell do I even begin? I mean, you've already read the title, so you know what I'm going to talk about. Um, so, <laughs> about two weeks ago, as of the recording of this video, I was starting to feel a little bit odd and weird. Now, you have to understand, I am the type of person, I do consider myself kind of a germaphobe <laughs> in the way that I interact with, uh, with people and the environment and... Uh, mass crowds and all that stuff. So, um, so these past few years have been a roller coaster of emotions. And two weeks ago, I just started feeling odd. The best way that I can describe it is sort of like uh, I uh, chugged a huge amount of sand in the back of my throat and in my chest with a lot of congestion and stuff like that. And it was just a very odd, weird feeling. But uh, aside from that, I was okay. And I've always been okay because I, I do obsess about that stuff with my immune system and all that. I take an obscene amount of um, vitamins on almost on a daily basis uh, for the past two and a half years. So when I, I don't typically get sick or when I do, it's very mild symptoms. But the day was odd. And by the afternoon, when I got out of work, I was feeling a little bit worse and I was having difficulty uh, swallowing and maybe a little bit of breathing issues. It was just uh, weird all over the place. I was still, uh, you know, thinking uh, it must be allergies because I do suffer from that and they sort of give me uh, like bad sinus and uh, dry cough and, and symptoms like that, which really annoy me, but it wasn't like that. It was very odd, is the word that I'm using for this video. Um, so it turns out it did get a little bit worse the next day, and uh, yeah, I got tested, and I never imagined in my life, for some dumb reason, it's really humbling when there's this pandemic and there's this sickness going around and how it affects everybody on a global scale, you never imagine yourself taking part in that. You always think that's not gonna uh, affect me because I'm taking uh, the best safety precautions um, and you just see it happening to others and you sympathize and you empathize with what's happening. But it's really humbling when it happens to you and you think how small this world really is, something that's happening all around the world. And now it's affecting me in my little corner, if you will. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say here, uh, but for the past few weeks I've been dealing with that. Uh, it got better as uh, immediately. Um, um, the worst of it was that first day. And since I'm so uh, hooked on, on vitamins and uh, on the C's and the D's and the zincs and all that stuff, it really made a difference along with a healthy amount of good, delicious tea and vaccines and all that wonderful sciencey stuff. So it really did help. Um, two weeks later, I, I did get a negative result. So I'm out of that, uh, thankfully. So I gotta be even more careful now to not get a repeat, but nonetheless, Grateful, thankful, humble. Uh, God is uh, great, and um, I've been able to leap over that obstacle, and we can march on and do uh, other cool stuff. So, for this video, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that, which I did, and I wanted to show a really special uh, haul. 
So let me grab those books. Let's do a little edit here and grab them. Here is the first volume of Yakuza Reincarnation, volume one. It's an isekai manga, a little bit of comedy, a lot of action, great art. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, so look out uh, for that. I'm gonna place it over here so you can see the cover. Uh, this, I can't show you anything inside of it, but here is Interspecies Reviewer's Comic Anthology Darkness Number 2. It's a compilation set in the world of uh, Interspecies Reviewers, a really funny sex comedy that I enjoy. It's awesome. Uh, a lot of people like to bash it, but I think it's it can be wholesome when it wants to and pretty hilarious and bonkers when it needs to be. This is from Inio Asano, A Girl on the Shore. Now, I know the reputation that this has. I know a lot of people uh, will quickly point out, like, this is really odd, uh, slightly disturbing, considering the subject matter and all that stuff, but I wanted to beef up my collection, my uh, creator-centric cubes on my shelves, and I do have a cube that's not visible here, it's elsewhere, but I do have a cube of Inio Asano books, so I wanted to add uh, this to it. I still need to get Solon in and a few other books, uh, so I'm excited for that. I will eventually read it and make a, a review on it. I do know this is 18 and up for a very specific reason. I can't show you some of the stuff that's happening here, but um, yeah, I got it. And uh, this is something that I've been wanting to get for ages. This is the first Viz Big edition of Vagabond from Takahito Inoue. I'm a huge fan of Inoue. And I've never owned any of his works physically. I've read some of his stuff, but I've always wanted to do that. And Vagabond is my sort of jam because I love um, history and feudal Japan and samurai lore and all that stuff. So I've been uh, dying to get this. I finally have uh, the first one. I didn't know it was such a hefty, uh, chunky book. This is the 15th printing of this series. That is insane to me. But I finally got it. That's what's important. Now the hunt begins for the rest of the uh, volumes. So I'm looking forward to that journey as well. This is the Holy Grail portion of the haul here. I gotta give a massive shout out to my buddy Travis for making it happen. He surprised me with this. I was not expecting it. Thank you so much. Wrote a really nice letter as well. I was over the moon ecstatic about getting this. This is something that's been on my radar for a couple of years now. So after reading uh, one of my all-time favorite series, Spirit Circle, I was after another work from the same author, and it was it still is out of print and really hard to come by. The volumes just kept increasing in price, and I thought I'm not I'm never gonna get it. I emailed the publisher, and they replied back saying they were not gonna do any reprints anytime soon. I do suspect that's going to change because this series is getting an anime adaptation a couple months from now. So you're probably wondering just what the heck did I get? Well, my buddy Travis hooked me up with the entirety of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer from uh, Satoshi Mizukami right here. I am so excited. The two in ones. I was so over the moon about it. Here's uh, the other volume right here. Here's volume five and six, seven and eight. I hope I'm filming this because I cannot see what I'm filming. <laughs> and uh, the last one here, nine and 10. So it really does mean a whole lot. This is one of my grails. Um, I do want to say that on a more personal level, getting this really lifted my spirits because I always question whatever I do online as a small time content creator, I guess. It's kind of weird to say that, but I guess I am. I always question if what I'm doing online matters to people. If in, if I'm just, you know, wasting time and space and words to nobody. Maybe what I'm doing is not, uh, is not the best. Maybe uh, people don't care. Uh, but, you know, getting, getting something like this grail type book uh, for me uh, means a lot. And to have a friend and uh, Travis who watches my, the whatever silly thing I do online and is a fan and wrote such a nice uh, letter to me, really puts things in a different light, a different perspective, I guess. And, and, and I do appreciate it. And I have friends that uh, do help me out with stuff. So it's not like this is me, uh, <laughs> it's not like I'm begging 
for anything on this video. I'm just saying it really does boost the morale, I guess, a little bit. Um, I, I'm in shock, and especially me for so many years collecting manga and anime, I don't really have a place to get them. I mean, I've talked about it online before. The only way, the only way I can get a manga, uh, if it's if it's like a Viz Kodansha release or something like that, it would be freaking Walmart or Sam's Club of all places. Although I don't, I haven't seen them in a while, so I don't know. But all your other stuff, it's gotta be online. And uh, online buying sucks, I hate it. I'd rather go to a store and find stuff. So uh, it's the options are very limited. So something like this, I would never see this at a local store. But uh, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to uh, show it off. Uh, really cool something that I got. Um, one of my all time uh, manga that I wanted for my collection. There's an anime coming out, so I do promise, my promise for this channel to you guys, that before the anime drops, I will have read the entirety of the series and I will put out a series review on Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be an exciting couple of months. Hopefully I can make it happen in time for the premiere of the show. Oh, and I almost forgot, oh my gosh. I did get The Girl from the Other Side. Travis sent this as well, uh, that's great. Thank you so much, Travis, for hooking me up with this amazing holy grail of a haul. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for every like, every comment, every subscription. It really does mean a whole lot. This is something that I do as a main hobby. I'd like creating content. And if I can entertain you guys and I can provide some sort of information, whether it's through my reviews or my wacky shenanigans, whenever I do online, uh, online stuff. Uh, I do appreciate it. So thank you. That's it. <laughs> Gotta go. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.